Hello, Scott here. I'm going to uh, demonstrate this IN13 uh, Nixie bar graph tube. The IN13 uh, pictured over here is an old technology uh, Russian glass tube that's filled with uh, a gas. It's excited by about 150 volts DC. That goes to the anode. The cathode, there are two cathodes. One of them is an auxiliary cathode, which is used to anchor the bar graph to the bottom. The other is the indicating cathode which is used to display the measurement. And you can see for a measurement I'm simply uh, ramping the tube up from 0 to uh, 100 percent. Now to uh, do the ramping I'm using my Parallax uh, Professional Development Board and I have a very simple uh, program on the prop which what it's doing is outputting a uh, pulse width modulation signal out one of the pins. And I'm scaling the uh, pulse width modulation from uh, 0 percent duty cycle up to 100 percent. So the PWM then feeds a little resistor capacitor network and the resistor capacitor network will turn the digital pulses into an analog signal. So on the oscilloscope back there you can see the yellow trace is the PWM output going from uh, 0 to 100 percent and the blue trace is the voltage on the resistor capacitor network going from 0 to about 3.3 volts. The output of that uh, resistor capacitor network feeds an MJE340 transistor which is hooked up through uh, another resistor and a potentiometer there and those in turn supply the uh, current to the uh, indicating cathode. So you can see it ramping 0 to 100 percent and the bar goes from 0 to the top. You turn off the lights so it will look a little bit more obvious what's going on. Well that is it. I hope to do some more interesting things with these tubes. You can see they're not all that difficult to use. The uh, only complicated part is getting your hands on 150 volts DC. Which I have in the back there a little power supply that I built that uh, uses a flyback and inductor to, uh, to make 150 volts using a step up. That is all. Thank <laughs> you.